Good morning. Welcome, welcome everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chrissy, and today I'm going to be giving you a prediction reading for the 18th of December. Um, oh my gosh, we're outside today. Um, Sophie's gone for a walk with my daughter. I've got Sprocket out here with me. It's absolutely gorgeous, beautiful temperature. No painters with their stereo blaring. Um, just the tweeting birds. It's beautiful. Cheers, everybody. I've got my coffee today. I haven't really got any admin. The only admin I've got today is um, Jen. You'll be glad about this. Um, they interviewed Stephen Miles this morning, the new leader in Queensland that took over from Palaszczuk. Palaszczuk um, and he was talking about um, addressing the youth crime in Queensland, Australia, which is a great idea. And also they were talking about the NDIS, Jen which I know you've been um, actually addressing with NDIS, which if, if you are new here, NDIS is our, it's a government paid scheme where people with disabilities, et cetera, get funding. Um, and what's been happening, it's a bit of a rot because people have been rotting the system, meaning a lot of the therapists um, charge through the roof. If they know this money's going for, uh, if the government's paying for it rather, for example, say a therapist charges you like $120 an hour. If they find out it's for the government NDIS, suddenly it becomes $180 an hour. This is the kind of stuff that's been going on. So it uses up people's money very quickly. So uh, of course the little people lose out yet again. So I do feel now they're starting to address and call out the therapists, etc., that are Hmm. Well, rotting the NDIS system. So it looks like, Jen, you're moving and shaking things again, putting your energy onto things that are needing an overhaul. And so that's actually happening, Jen. Good on you. <laughs> you put it out there and it's happening again. And Jen, you were also mentioning to me yesterday, oh, sorry, that's Sprocket bumping the table, um, that... <clears throat> there's a few Karens out and about. So be warned, people are in their beast mode. They're getting angry, they're getting hostile, they're blowing up at the drop of a hat. So be very, very careful um, that you don't <laughs> interact with any Karens, especially the week before Christmas. There tends to be a lot of them out and about. Um, gosh, we haven't been out in the garden for a while shooting a video, guys. And I came out the other day and look at my sweet peas. I grew half sweet pea flowers and half snap peas on that vine. And look, my sweet peas are flowering. Sweet peas have the most beautiful fragrance. I just love sweet peas. Um, they're just a cute little flower, but they, I just love them, the smell of them. It's like a really good memory for me. Um, all right, guys, let's close my eyes and we'll get straight into it. We'll see what comes up. Gosh, I'm getting it. Everything's getting larger than life now. They're showing me like inflatables. You know how you get, you know, for example, Santa blowing up outside someone's house, like a big inflatable blow up um, decoration. This is what I'm getting. Everything's becoming larger than life. Um, let's see what we get around this. And it's showing me the leaders. It's like, for example, someone's got all the leaders and they're blowing them up. This is their big ego. See, it's blowing them up like a big Santa Claus, I guess you could say. And that's what I'm getting. Um, but they're blowing themselves up. See, their egos are huge. We've got elbow blown up, Trudeau blown up, like one of those big blow up dolls, like Christmas dolls that you see on, well, they're not dolls really. They're just a blow up figurine that you see on someone's lawn. Well, I'm getting all the, the global elites. Their, their heads are blowing up, like their egos are blowing up. Um, they have to be significant on the world stage. So they have to be like larger than life and they have to make themselves larger than life. So they're kind of pumping air into themselves, like they're pumping themselves up, you know, using their global power, um, using their success, um, all the things they're implementing and what they're doing to the, squashing the little people. It's making them feel bigger. So, you know, it's like anything. If you squash someone else, it makes you feel more important and like a bigger person, um, which is really just a form of bullying. But I am getting that. They're like these Christmas big blow-ups at the moment, but they're showing me all the leaders like Sushi, Elbow, Chris um, Luxon is there, you know, Trudeau, all the above, um, Macron, they're all there. And they're all blowing them. It's showing me them with like a, 
a pump pumping themselves up well making themselves look bigger on the world stage that's just what i'm getting all right Oh, we'd love to get some pins and just prick these little inflatable <laughs> blow-ups, wouldn't we? And just have them come down like a pancake. You know how of a day you drive past someone's Christmas lighthouse and all the all the blow-ups are down flat on the ground? <laughs> well, that'd be the ideal <laughs> the ideal um, image we would love to see, isn't it? A few little pinpricks or take the plugs out so that the air can't flow anymore into these you know big oh bigger than life size it's saying blow ups <coughs> oh all right let's keep going we get some very strange visuals here on this channel you'll get used to it if you're new germany's rising i keep getting germany's rising it has to be rising there's something going on um people can't take it germany is rising it is rising because people are rising because people are seeing it's saying the glasses have come off the rose colored glasses have come off people are seeing it this is in germany i'd say it's globally but it's definitely happening in germany people are seeing now what their reality is going to become if they don't do something and do something fast i'm getting tiny there and they're showing me trudeau and they're showing me him holding, you know those rubber turkeys that you give to your dogs to play with, where you squeeze the neck and goes, ee, ee, ee. those skinny rubber turkeys. It's showing me Trudeau holding these rubber turkeys, but it's like holding the little people by the neck. He's forcing things down people's throat. He's forcing all this onto the people. He's forcing the downturn of the economy. He's forcing everything. He's putting the squeeze on everything. That's what I'm getting for Trudeau. This will be in the turn of the year. He's putting a squeeze on everything, like he's holding this goose, rubber goose thing, chicken or whatever it is, around the neck. And he's not going to let go. He's holding on really tight to stop, like, the airflow. If you think of someone holding your throat, it stops the airflow and it starts choking the little people. Well, that's what I'm getting for Trudeau. He's really trying to choke the little people now and take them down to, well, as we know, nothing. That, that's pretty much the aim of his game, isn't it? So I'm getting that visual, him just putting a chokehold on the little people, peasants, and Lego people. Um, like we're just a little oh, rubber chook or turkey, one of those little skinny ones from the toy shop or pet shop um, that's got the squeaker in it, you know, that but he's holding it so tight they can hardly breathe. Um, he's choking the little people, that's what his aim is. All right. I'm getting a lot of people in Canada have a downturn smile. If you think about times in your life that you've gone through challenges or difficult times, often if you look back at photos and things, you can see you have an automatic downturn smile. It's not like when you're having lots of joy and it's all natural and you're just smiling and um, your life's flowing and everything's great. There's times probably in our lives where we could look back and we see the downturn smile. Well, I'm getting this downturn smile. It's subconscious in Canada. People are just... Um, I'm, I'm feeling like in Canada, people aren't very animated. Although there's probably a few Karens that are getting animated over there in beast mode. But I'm feeling like people aren't very animated. Um, they're a little bit, it's showing that, the downturn smile. A little bit lifeless. Because there's not much to look forward to. What is there to look forward to in Chinada? Which is Canada, if you're new here. We call it that because Trudeau likes to... Mm -hmm follow China's footsteps with the dictatorship and I am getting that there's a lot of downturn smiles which if you think about it is downturn energy there's not enough laughter anymore in, in China there's not enough fun there's just no there's kind of no real experiences going on anymore in, in China everything feels fake it feels forced um, and it feels surreal people's lives don't feel right anymore It's almost showing me like there's a vacancy for people. And I guess if you think about this, people waking up, it's like a vacancy sign. You know how you put out a sign vacancy and no vacancy? Well, I'm getting this vacancy sign for a lot of people in Canada. They just feel vacant. They feel empty. They feel like it's like there's nobody home. 
they're just going through the motions a lot of people in Canada and, and they're they're overwhelmed they don't know what to do and they've got this downturn smile because it's taking a toll on their energy um, Oh, we need that frequency to be rising in Canada. But anyway, sometimes you've got to hit rock bottom, guys, before you rebuild your life and change things. A lot of us know that here, having been through difficult times, challenges, whatever we've been through. Um, a lot have been through depression, dark nights, souls, awakenings, all this kind of stuff. Um, and, and we actually feel better for it, <laughs> which is kind of weird because at the time you think, oh, my God, I'm never going to get out of this. But then you do, and you turn a corner, and, and life's just... Look at it now. It's wonderful. It's amazing. We, we ha we're we living. We're actually living now from a place of joy, happiness, um, ease. Certainly, I would say freedom of um, freedom in how we navigate things. And that's a good feeling because it's staying in your truth. Um, let's see where else we're going. Hopefully my daughter lets Tarada. Oh. Sorry guys, <laughs> Sophie's at the door barking. Thank you. Here she comes showing off. Did you have a walkies? Here she comes. You can hear the jingle bells. Oh, they're having a little play. Oh, they're gonna knock my, oh, that's nice. Sprocket's playing with her. Isn't that so cute? Good girl, so. Good boy, Sprocky. Oh, that's cute, isn't it? They're having a little game. That's so adorable. Spocket's trying to get a little game going with her. So he must be feeling better after his antibiotics, mustn't he? It's beautiful. Let's see if I can show you them. Let's see if I can get them on camera. There they are. <laughs> they had a little game. It's cute. Good boy, Spocket. He loves Sophie so much. Oh, oh he just walked into my table. Come in, this way. Come around. Sit down. That's my boy. Sit down. Sit down, sweetie. Oh, she's panting. She must have had a good old walk. <laughs> Sit down, darling. Sorry, guys. You know my dogs have to interrupt the video as usual. All right, let's keep going. Gosh, I'm getting Australia and seed planting, but it's showing me um, elbows growing his own crop. It's like... Um, this isn't to do with like planning information. This is like elbows trying to come here, grow his own crop. It's like he's planting things and he's wanting it to grow. I would say this is financially. Um, it's showing me spots all over Australia, like Western Australia, Queensland, Tasmania. It's showing me him growing, but he's not growing like natural things. He's not growing plants and trees and this kind of thing. It's showing me he's growing like factories is growing like factories and industrial like buildings. That's what I'm getting for Australia. Elbows. Well, he's planting seeds in order for the money and the, well, he's calling it the affluence of Australia to grow. In his mind, um, well, putting us on the political world stage with resources, etc., is gonna help us to in his mind, grow in abundance. So we're going to have a steady stream of of wealth coming to Australia. That's how Elbow sees it. So he's planting. It's saying they're like little trees, but they're not trees. They're like little industrial buildings and cement boxes um, for our future to 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 sustain our future down here in Oz. Mm. This doesn't sound great, does it? It sounds all very, like, clinical, like clinical trials. Oh, let's hope it's not, like, more Moderna factories or something like that. We know they're building one in Melbourne. Haven't heard what's happened there with all that, if they're open or what's going on. I'm sure that they are. Oh, Spocket's doing a poopy over there. Sorry, guys. <laughs> At least he's venturing around the yard on his own, which is kind of nice, isn't it? It's actually good that he's... He's finding his way around. He's working it out. And he knows where Sophie and I are. Um, all right, let's keep going. Here he comes. He's finding... Here, Sprock. Come here, darling. 
Oh, he's finding his way through the veggie gardens. Come here, Dallin. Over here. I'll just clap so he knows I'm here. Good boy. Well done. Thank you, sweetie. Good job. Um, I'm getting America. Hang on a minute. Yeah, and I'm getting America is really getting lied to. We know America is getting lied to about every avenue of their life. Um, the Biden government continues to um, hide and cover up all their mistakes. Um, I feel like America's got like a bailout plan. Ooh. Americans are completely just over this. They're over it. I feel like America's got a bailout plan. Um, it could even be to, <laughs> I've been saying it for a while, to, to bail out Biden and get rid of him. Um, that would be actually one of the best ideas they could ever come up with. But I feel like there's a bailout plan. Um, there's a financial, there's financial wheeling and dealings going on in America. Um, the big question on everybody's lips, the little people, peasants, and they go, people, is will they survive? How are they going to survive? Oh, this morning, guys, on the news, they had some budget analyst or something on here in Australia, which would relate to everybody. And she was saying, oh, I doubt there'll be any more interest rates in 2024. I just don't see it. And I thought, that's absolute garbage. There will definitely be interest rate rises in 2024. And I don't think America is going to be any different. But they're going to make out they've got these bailout, you know, we know how to get us out of these holes. It's it's a sticky situation. But America is going to keep um, focusing on that everyone's going through it, that these are global issues, that this is happening everywhere. Um, every country is suffering. It's not just America. This is what they're going to say. Um, so they've got these ideas of how to get themselves out of well, debt. And this to me is around produce. Um, oh, I hope it's not the, the fake plant. <laughs> I had an ad on a video this morning about the fake plant food. It just looks so unappealing and unappetizing. Um, so there's Sophie, careful. Oh, I just stood on her. <laughs> She's getting used to it now. Um, that's what I'm getting. Come here. I'm here. I'm here. Okay. Oh, it's so hard for him being blind. Um, the, sad, the stupid part is that Biden's the one that dug the hole and, and put all you guys into a difficult situation, especially with migration. Um, and the debt just keeps mounting. It's a mounting, mounting pile of debt in America. But see, the thing is, with the Biden government, they're going to give you the illusion that they're, they're helping. Well, they just outright lie, don't they? Biden will tell you how he's had the best economy and how he's helped the American people. Well, he'll tell you everything that he's done, which is pretty much zero, really. But in his mind, it's like he's just saved the country. He's, in his mind, he's been the best president that's ever existed. Um, who's made the most changes. <laughs> we know he's made the most changes, the most disastrous changes a president could ever make. <laughs> Particularly flying open the Mexican borders, that was a pretty major. Um, so that's what I'm getting. <sighs> oh my God. And I'm getting there's a, <clears throat> people in America can't take much more of this. And, and they're trying to see change on the horizon. But how do you see change in organised chaos? Like, it's like, um, oh, it's like they're saying to me, Biden needs to be accompanied by an adult at all times. Remember I said yonks ago he's going to have this military guy with him a lot? And I noticed a military guy has been propping up a lot. Um, he needs, like, a carer, like, with him all the time. He needs propping up. He's like a child on an excursion. He needs a one-on-one -on -one teacher with him at all times. And I think we're all aware of that. And the people in America are aware of this too. This is not practical any longer for them to keep going on with this Biden government. And it's funny actually, because people actually think it's in poor taste. They think the way he's being treated as an elderly person is in really poor taste. It's not kind of funny anymore to the American people, which can understand. 
Um, it's not funny at all. It's just like elder abuse. We keep getting <laughs> Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, poor America. This is just ridiculous. How can this be happening? I want to know when you go to the vote. And I want to know who could just replace this bloody guy. It just has to happen. They know they can't keep dragging this out any longer. We're not sure who they are. Is it Barack Obama in the background pulling the strings? We really do not know. Um, but so many questions, and especially for the people of America, because they just want change now. They're tired of it. Ugh. You can see why. It's just relentless garbage being flung at them like, you know, like a slingshot with an egg in it. It's like, we'll just hit the the um, little people in America again and just flick eggs at them. That's what it's like. It's a joke. They're just treating people with contempt like they're stupid. Oh, it's so frustrating all this. All right, see if there's anything else. Getting Spain. Um, getting oh, Spanish bullfighting. Oh, this might be coming to the end of an era. I don't know what's going on there. I think people would be up in arms in Spain if that happened, but I do feel those animal activists and things coming to the party about the cruelty of it. I do feel these things kind of flaring up um, and coming to a head. Uh, I am getting that for Spain. But again, you've got the volatile energy. See, people are ready to erupt about anything. It doesn't matter what the reason is. That's why there's Karens, beast modes, people waking up everywhere that are just losing their shit, basically. God, the carjackings, the crime, the road rage, it's all people abusing people for no reason. It's just, it's all going on. Um, and that's what's going to happen in Spain. That could be next year. I'm getting Madrid. Um, could even be something around the running of the bulls that that's unsafe and that's, um, has to be dealt with. It's a bit of a crisis. Like how can these barbaric things be going on? Which is probably true actually. It's pretty sick for the poor animal. They must be so heightened in anxiety during that. Cause I know the people running with the bulls would be. Oh my goodness. Anyway, I'm getting that. Let's see if there's one more thing, guys, and we'll pull some cards today. I am getting Chris. <laughs> I'm getting Chris Luxon. He likes to do things in style. I feel like he likes the luxury life. He likes, um, they're saying flash chariots. He likes flash cars. I feel like he's being taken care of. Um, globally, he's not really wanting for anything. I do feel like he's... He's being gifted with a lot of things and now that he's in that position of power, I do feel like the, um, these, well, I'm getting the puppet masters have to really get him on side. They want New Zealand on board. See, obviously in New Zealand, you've got a pretty good, I would say, amount of resources um, that are important to others because they're really, um, well, they're sucking up to Chris Luxon. That's what I'm getting. He, he, and he enjoys the lavish lifestyle. He doesn't like skimping. I think we're going to find he's a person who spends the money. A little like Trudeau, I'm afraid. He will like his luxury holidays and resort type holidays. Um, but he feels that's viable because of all the stress that they go under, see? So this is how they justify it. Like, well, we're so stressed. Not thinking, oh, maybe the little people, peasants and Lego people are like stressed out of their eyeballs and can't even have a holiday or anything anymore. So I am getting that for Chris Luxon. I think he's, he likes the finer things of life. He does. That's just what I'm getting. Mm. And I think though, like I said before, it's because he never had them. I think he might've had a tough upbringing. So he can actually relate to the people but now he's also not willing to give up the things that are quality choices. And um, he feels like he's a man-made man that's created these things himself and he's earned them, which he probably has. So he's going to be quite a good spender of the money in New Zealand. But I do feel it'll be on himself. <laughs> on himself, sadly. Oh, that's a change for these ego-driven bloody tyrants, isn't it? All right, let's do one more thing and we'll pull some cards.
Oh, I'm just getting fast. We need to um, mm, keep eliminating, keep eliminating um, sort of, oh, it's saying thoughts, things that don't serve you. We talked about people the other day. I saw my girlfriend, ex-girlfriend again this morning at the coffee shop. She just walks right past me like I don't even exist. It's the weirdest experience, isn't it? But mind you, I don't really have any feelings about it anymore either. I've kind of moved on as well. So I am getting that. We have to really keep eliminating, eliminating, and I guess to be honest, it's like eliminating stress out of your life. Keep eliminating it. Keep doing things that keep you calm. Oh, did I tell you guys, I've had this tomcat hanging around my house and I've finally patted it today. It's taken like three or four months. I'm a bit of a cat adopter. I'm a bit of a softy when it comes to stray animals. So I've got a new cat, big furry thing called Max. You should see him. He's like, he's like a massive big furry, I don't even know what you call him. It's massive. But he loved it this morning. He let me scratch his ears and everything. It was so fun. Um, so I guess by what the guides are saying is you eliminate things out of your life and it allows new things in. That's what I'm getting. Um, for example, Max coming into my life now, another cat. Um, and I'm not saying I'm eliminating anything, but I'm just saying, you know, do we need all these friends? You know, I was saying to you guys, I haven't been doing Facebook and, and things like that much because it feels like it's people's false lives um, and no one talks anymore. So we've got to kind of create these things back into our life as well and make room for things that we do need to come into our life by allowing some things to go. Again, it's that anchoring and being chained to the past. We have to let it go. Um, I'm gonna pull you a Doreen Virtues card, guys, today. Gosh, it's beautiful out here, isn't it? We had so much rain, everything's really green too. It's beautiful. Oh, listening. Are you listening? I'm getting that song by Pseudo Echo. I say, you say, were you listening? I know, you know, you're not listening. Listening like you do before. I tell you who is listening, Sprocket. Now his senses are opening up. But we've got to be the same. We've got to keep listening for our guidance. Um, listening to any messages we're receive, receiving. And listen to your gut feelings. What you might be, you know receiving in your in your physical body as well listening to everything just to keep you on your path children and again looking through the eyes of a child keep that innocence about you enjoy the experiences sophie soph she's chewing her paws again don't don't get caught up too much in the adult world because sometimes we can get lost good girl thank you sophie in the adult world can't we guys Keep everything simple through the eyes of a child, serenity. Oh, well, here we are, having our serenity. We get this card a lot, don't we, guys? Just looking at the flowers, having our moments of probably solitude and peace. Stay in the serenity. It's so serene out here. It's absolutely gorgeous. I don't think a lot of us have trouble doing that, to be honest. I think we find it quite easy. Um, let's pull an angel healing card. We'll just pull one today. Eat, stop chewing. Is that a burr? I'll get it in a minute, okay? She's got a burr on her foot. It's annoying the hell out of her. <laughs> I'll get it off in a sec. It's for Sophie. I'll get it done. Archangel Gabriel, you will soon receive some positive news. The channels for clear and honest communication are now open. Keep an open heart and speak your truth lovingly without fear. And man, have we come so far that we're doing that now, aren't we? We do do that. We speak our truth lovingly. Um, and in minimal ways, we don't overwhelm people, but we don't, we never speak of it through fear. It's always from truth. Um, it's funny because um, I'm sure you're like me, Jen. Whenever I hear that Stephen Miles talking, I can feel the, sh the quivering and the fear in him. He's, he's scared of being judged. He, he doesn't feel comfortable in his own skin. This is the new leader that took over from Palachuk. Just an example I'm using. If you go check him out, you'll know what I'm saying, guys. There's this quiver that he has that it's like he's speaking from fear and um, lack of confidence or something. I, don't, I can't quite pinpoint it. But we don't. We speak with an open heart and we speak our truth. And... and it's all right, Spock. And... Um, 
Soon we will receive some positive news. The channels for clear and honest communication are now open. And I think that's what this antenna we get all the time is too. It's about we're always receptive to new things, new experience. We're even receptive to change as hard as that is. Um, and we're, we're always um, receptive to knowing more truths and what's going on. We're aware, but we're always um, receptive to it. Sophie, stop chewing. Oh my goodness. Um, I'll see if there's anything else to close with today, guys. I'm getting this song, I think it's by Kate Sobrano. I won't ever go away. Just be brave and stay. Hold me in your arms. Um, and I will rise up high. Oh, uh, what's that song called? I think it's by Kate Sobrano. You'll never walk away. Just be brave and stay. Hold me in your arms. And I will rise up high. That's the words. That's interesting, isn't it? I think there's a bit of meaning in that song, guys. Might look that up. Don't ever walk away. She always Kate Soprano. She's an Aussie singer. Go check that song out. I'll see if there's anything else. I'm getting this song. I think it's by Willie Nelson. Some days are diamonds. Some days are gold. Sometimes the hard times won't leave us alone. I think it's Willie Nelson, isn't it? <laughs> times the cold wind. I don't know the words, but anyway, we've got to go listen to that song, whatever it is. Some days are diamonds, some days are gold. I think we'd all agree with that. <laughs> uh, but mostly good, mostly good, aren't they, guys? All right, let's see if there's one more thing to finish with. Oh, I'm getting that song by John Lennon, that Christmas song. Um, oh, what is it? I'm trying to think. It's called Christmas. Oh, that's it. So this is Christmas. For what have you done? Another year over. New one just begun. Very happy Christmas. I hope you have one. I hope it's a good one. Oh, is that a song? Without any tears. Oh, and it's and then it goes into like war is over. If you want it, no, I love that song. Anyway, I'm going to leave you with that song today by John Lennon. Um, it's I'm sure it's called Christmas, Happy Christmas or something. Go check it out by John Lennon. It's a beautiful song. I want you to play that too. I hope you all played your Making Gravy song by Paul Kelly. My Aussie sock Christmas song to you guys. <laughs> it's a funny little song. Please go play it. Um, and I will say goodbye from Australia. Don't forget to hit the like button. So I'll say goodbye from me and the doggos. Spockets asleep under here. Sophie's collapsed over there. And I will say goodbye from beautiful down under today. I'm just going to go and enjoy this beautiful day. And maybe hang some washing out and just do some ironing and just chill out and enjoy the little garden <laughs> as well spend some time in my garden all right take care everybody have a wonderful day and i will talk to you tomorrow take care bye everyone bye